What's good and what's bad in Pittsburgh, huh? I'm All gonna right. start. I'm gonna start at the the triangle and work my way out from there. So you know, downtown is downtown, and areas that are doing well out from that. If we uh, if we get out near the zoo, uh, Aspenwall. If we get into areas in here like Lawrenceville is very up and coming, but it does scare me a little bit uh, because it's a bubble that could burst. You know, Highland Park is good. We just sold a house. Uh, out past the cemetery in Bloomfield or Friendship, depending on how you look at it, uh, right out in here. Uh, it was a three-story Victorian. I was just talking to you about it. It went mm -hmm. for $465,000, and it's a, a very hot market in there. Um, yeah, Friendship's right here. So it's right in this area we bought. And we had a couple other investors right in this area here that have bought and done well on some of those Bloomfield friendship things. It's really, really good. So what, what do you call that neighborhood there? Uh, Bloomfield, Bloomfield and Friendship are two different neighborhoods, okay. but they butt up against each other. And yeah, we're, we're on right the in the same. side end. of Pittsburgh here. Yeah, it's actually in, in the city of Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Um, gotcha. Yeah, I wouldn't really consider it east of Pittsburgh. I guess it is east of the city. Uh, so that area, this, this area in here is really good. But if you watch and get down on the uh, away from the center a little bit into Lawrenceville down towards the bridges and what have you, they're a little bit a little bit rougher down there. You know, I come across the 40th, come across here, this whole area in here. This is where Uber is testing their driverless cars right now. Is in this little section right. <laughs> My brother was here. just talking about that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. If you go down there, you'll see them. You'll see them uh, running around a lot. Okay. Um, so that I, I like that a lot. There's uh, Penn Hills, the Penn Hills area. I wish it said neighborhoods on to make it easier. The Penn Hills area is a great flipping area or rental area. I don't go there. I have a two tunnel rule, and I live over, you know, west of the city, and so I have to go through uh, the Four Pit Tunnel and then the Squirrel Hill Tunnel to get out into the Penn Hills area. So I just don't do it. But there's a lot of activity in this area. So if you are east of the city. This is actually a pretty good area in, in Penn Hills to do it. Homestead, West Mifflin, these kind of areas, not so good really. Now, split, you can get into. Uh, so, you said this is a good rental area? Yeah, it's a really good rental area. Okay. Penn Hills is just a rental machine, you know. Is that mostly for um, college people, professionals? Every, no, just everybody. Little of Blue collar. Okay. Blue collar rentals. You get out into um, um, Swiss Vale, can be a, a little bit. A little bit rough, but it can also be really nice. There's some good areas, so you just got to watch where you're at in the Swisswood, uh, Swissvale area. And I'm trying to I'm trying to coordinate myself in this map. I don't usually look at a map this way. Um, and then if you're if you're doing these, uh, some areas of Churchill are really good. Wilkinsburg, nuts. Don't even think about Wilkinsburg, okay? Just don't even do it. Don't yes, go sir. to Wilkinsburg. Um, Churchill, it borders up against it, and uh, so there's some really, really good areas of, of Churchill to flip houses in, and there are some really bad areas. So you just got to watch where you're at in there. Um, Point Breeze is in here somewhere. Point Breeze is one of those areas, too, that's you can get really good in there and you can get really bad in the Point Breeze area. Another investor's done just did a house in Point Breeze. It sat too long, so he's gonna lose a little bit of money on it, but it could have gone the other way and it made a lot of money if he mm -hmm. but he was right on the edge of where it, it borders into bad things. Um, going out Route 28 out this way, there's some stuff out there. Um, you know, we just are picking stuff up some stuff clear out in Oakmont right now, just helping out a friend doing two houses out there. But uh, there's good and there's bad in that area. Uh, coming down this way, we get down Monroeville. There's a lot of opportunity in the Monroeville area, and you know this whole this whole area. But it's it's just a bit depressed. So they're not big profit. They're low dollar type things. There are opportunities though, and there are good uh, good rentals. Uh, in that area. So here's Penn Hills out in here. I guess I was, I was looking wrong, but Penn Hills is out in, in this area right in here. Uh, so this whole, I mean, it's a, Penn Hills is just a big area and it's a, it's a great place to do 
some rentals in. Now, okay. where I do my stuff, and I'm a little more familiar with, I stay away from Homestead and Munhall, all these areas. But I, I stay more. Let me fold this up a little bit. Yeah. So, I live out in Washington County. Um, so, out there in Heidelberg, Bridgeville, this area. So, I'm, I'm out in here. So, I like the things all through the South Hills, which are all up through here. There's most of the South Hills is really good. Dormont is a good rental area, and there's some really good flips in Dormont as well if you can get, get some stuff in Dormont. Down through Mount Lebanon. Um, I stay away from Carnegie. It's a little bit depressed in that area. Castle Shannon, Bethel Park, Whitehall. These are all pretty decent areas. I have one that we just sold down in Upper St. Clair, which gets down a little bit further down in this area. Upper St. Clair is an awesome area. Really, really good. So the whole, most of the South Hills is very good uh, okay. until you get too far east. Moving up across, we have uh, the Green Tree area, good and bad, Crafton, Ingram. There's, there's a lot of trash in this area, and I said stay away from Carnegie for the most part. A lot of trash in this area, but there's also some winners in here. So you'll find sprinkled in amongst the bad some pretty good stuff, especially more in Green Tree. Crafton has some good stuff. Crafton Heights, not as good. Uh, and it just gets bad until you get, it gets worse until you get out into McKee's Rocks. And McKee's Rocks is just definitely not the best place to do it. It is more of a, re or a, a rental area. And you'll see a lot of deals in McKee's Rock. Very, very cheap, but they're a good one to stay away from. But McKee's Rocks, things called McKee's Rocks run all the way over into Robinson Township. So you'll find some things on this side of McKee's Rocks that are actually really good, you know, $300,000 houses and stuff out in here, out into Robinson. And you get out into Moon and Beaver County and you're in good stuff. You buy something in Moon, you're in really good shape. But Moon runs down runs down into some stuff that's that's maybe not as good. Uh, let's see if I can get there a little bit. So Moon Moon runs down into Coriopolis and some of its Moon address and this Coriopolis uh, you can buy stuff in there and I would buy stuff in there and it's a good rental area but it's all lower dollar stuff. So if you're if you're seeing something that's Moon that's really in Coriopolis it's not worth as much. So you have to know where you're at in there. And it runs down, you know, over into, um, if you go out this way more, you're into Beaver County. And there's some pretty good stuff in Beaver County. You want to definitely stay away from Aliquippa. If it says Aliquippa, run. <laughs> um, there's uh, Ambridge is in there. Rental area, not a great place to be. It, 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 we actually bought a rental down there, but the taxes are so high, it was hard to cash flow anything. So we sold our Ambridge house. But you get out a little bit further into Baden, uh, or if you can get into Swickley, uh, Swickley is a great place. Here's Swickley right here. Uh, really high end. You'll get into you know million dollar homes in this area. So Swickley, if you can buy a house in Swickley that's not on the outskirts but in the general area, it's pretty good. So I guess how how um how did you like in Youngstown? We have obviously the Youngstown um, city limits, and on the west side we have a lot of um, rentals there, and then going um, outside of Youngstown into the suburbs like Boardman, Austintown, Struthers are, are other good um, rental markets. Kind of staying away from the older houses um, in that Youngstown downtown, obviously. And um, when, you know, once the steel mills left, you know, we, were left, we were left with all this rust. Yeah. So how, how did kind of Pittsburgh, I guess, historically kind of adapt? And like where like the, well, Penn the older Hills, houses and, and yeah, that Yeah, the Penn Hills is the older you know, workers, blue collar worker area was the, the Penn Hills and Ambridge was actually a better area and I was talking about Ambridge, it was more the managers kind of lived out that way. And in Lawrence, Lawrenceville, it was, uh, those are old row houses that were just really lower income stuff and just mm -hmm. your worker bees out in that area. So there are areas that had the management class of the, of the steel workers and then the blue collar class and then there were the others. Uh, that were actually, you know, below that, the lower class uh, type people that were in some of the Lawrenceville areas. Like Lawrenceville, you know, you used to be able to buy a house for, you know, twenty five, thirty thousand dollars in Lawrenceville, and now um, you're paying. Lawrenceville's over here, by the way, if you're following my fingers. Um, <laughs> okay. 
it's is down in this area but um now Lawrenceville is going for hundreds of thousands of dollars for those same houses, but it's well, because they've made such an entertainment area. It, it's the young people really like it, you know. Down in in this area, down in here is really good, and uh, this is where friendship comes in in Bloomfield and, and those other places. Nice. And uh, so here's your Highland Park Bridge coming over into the zoo area. This is all good in here. Uh, my favorite place, though would have to be the North Hills. So we come over here and we got the north side is not so, so good. And there's some historical homes in here and you got your um, your Mexican War Streets is, is one of the higher end areas that uh, are very historical homes that do very well. But it, it's very hit and miss in this North Shore area. And moving up into Westview, uh, Westview is a little lower end but it starts to get good. And then into Ross Township. So if you were to run out Ross, run into Ross Township, to me those were some of the, uh, like up in here, are some of the best houses. Here's Westview, here's Berkeley Hills. We did one in here uh, in Berkeley Hills. It was the first house we ever did was right up in here, our Woodland Road house. Uh, excellent profit on that one. So there's really good stuff in here. Up into Shaler Township, which is not on the map. We did a couple up in Shaler Township. We have one in Allison Park now, which is right over in here uh, somewhere. And then on up into Gibsonia, which is up by the Turnpike up here. Uh, so, uh, anything up in this in this area, up around the Ross Park Mall, is usually good. McCandless, uh, Ross Township, uh, Shaler Township. We did two in Shaler Township these on the same road. Flips. Yeah, these are all flips. Okay. So this whole North Hills area in here, on up into Wexford and and uh, Cranberry up in here, uh, are it's all a really really good flip zone that you can you can make some high profit stuff and and Bev and I concentrate mostly in this area. What are kind of like um, the uh, the price margins? Like what are you trying to get it at? What are you? Uh, two fifty. Uh, we're we're buying them. You know whatever we can buy them for, and we're selling them like two fifty to three hundred in that range. Um, let's see. I don't even remember what we sold these two in Shaler. I think one was 250 and the other was 265. We bought them for something less than that. I think we bought it for 116 and 125. I don't remember. Um, okay. And uh, so we did those two there. And it, it goes on the other side of Westview, you get down into, you know, coming back towards Beaver County, you have this whole area in here, this. Ohio River Boulevard area where you have you know we had a, an Emsworth we we wholesaled a house in Emsworth that turned out really good for the guy uh, probably made 40 grand or so on it uh, Ben Evans okay Avalon's good uh, we did a house in Bellevue here as well we made out fairly well in Bellevue see we're across the river McKee's Rocks junk Bellevue a little bit better this is a good rental area through here especially in Bellevue but there's also some good flips up in this area we did uh i don't know if i can see it, it was right in this area somewhere we did did one on euclid avenue as a flip and, and turned out pretty good um so it seems like the the city the town is growing north is that accurate well the south hills is already so overcrowded there's nothing you can do with it uh, we're starting to move a little bit this way, I would say. Okay. Uh, nice. Out in this area, like we're uh, over towards Washington, we're getting a lot of build-up stuff over there. Robinson Township built up over the over the last few years out towards the airport. So we're moving this corridor more than anything else. Uh, not as much happening down in this area. This is already this whole North Hills area is pretty built up, so I don't know that it's growing. Uh, if you got into Beaver County, they have the cracker plant that's opening out there. Uh, it's gas and oil stuff, and that is going to make a lot of jobs out in Beaver County, and we expect uh, the housing to just shoot through the roof over there. But I don't. That doesn't mean anything to me right now because I'm not a speculator. I'm an investor, so I I buy and sell things based on what's happening today. I don't try to get into the speculation business and what's going to happen in the future. Uh, to me, I'm just smart, I'm not smart enough to do that. So, uh, not, I'm not going to do it because as policies and regimes change, so will the cracker plant and anything else that they have plans on going in. And uh, they've done some growth up into this area where we're talking about uh, coming out Route 28. 
but Pittsburgh Mills is out in here, the, the mall, but it, it just uh, went bankrupt and is changing hands. So, you know, people aren't moving out there as fast as the mall moved out there. Um, Fox Chapel, great area. Really good. Aspen Wall, very good. Higher end homes. These are flips in this area. But it's just, it's a little bit too far for me from, from here to here. I mean, right. yeah, I'm going to Oakmont. But I'm just kind of doing it for a friend uh, to do that. I do have a house out this way, and it's from a height, which is way too far. But it's because I loaned on it, and the people stopped paying their loan, and so I'm going to end up with that house whether I want it or not. Where the heck's the sure. Here's Oakmont. The Toronto Heights is out in here somewhere. I don't remember. Somewhere right in here. It's the Toronto Heights. I don't know. But uh, the two Oakmont houses we have are right in here. So uh, where's the bridge coming across? Yeah, right over in here that I'm helping a friend out with. Oh, so that's called the Penn Hills. This is Penn Hills okay. here. This is Oakmont. Oh, here. Oakmont. Okay. Gotcha. Oakmont. Oakmont. Penn Hills. Uh, big area for Penn Hills. Plum. Good, bad. I don't know. I don't. I don't play out in that area very much, and I don't play down in this area, but. Yes, yeah, is very interesting compared to our uh, <laughs> Rust Belt city. So <laughs> it's getting better here. Interesting Russ. to learn this history. Yeah, and a lot of these bridges had to do with that as well. When you look at the bridges in Pittsburgh, you know, like a hot metal bridge, and you know, different names of the bridges where they moved the, the steel across uh, when the, where where all the steel mills are. But the, most of the rusted out steel mills are going away right now and uh, getting built up into more high-tech stuff. Yeah, it seems like Pittsburgh is kind of um, adapting into kind of a techie world. It is. Uh, Pittsburgh is a techie world right now. You know, we got Google here, we got um, Uber hanging out, playing here. <laughs> so, lots of stuff. Awesome. Hey, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. That was a good overview.